Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, the show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will be showing you how to burn a new SD card for your Stern pinball machine. So grab your tools and let's get going. I recently purchased an Elvira House of Horrors pinball machine and decided to play a few games before bed. Upon flipping the switch to turn it on, nothing happened and the game wouldn't boot. I checked my playfield lights and the machine was in fact getting power. After doing some research online regarding this issue, it appeared to be an issue related to a faulty SD card. Before burning a new SD card, I wanted to check to make sure this was in fact the issue. In order to investigate this issue, you will need to gain access to the SD card on the board in the back box. Grab your back box keys. These are typically located on the hook inside the coin door. Now unlock the speaker panel, lower it carefully, and remove the back glass from the pinball machine. Be sure to place the back glass in a safe location. During the boot up process for Elvira, I noticed that two of the lights, VA and VNB, never illuminated during the boot up process. Here is a look at the boot up process for my Jurassic Park. You will notice VA and VNB as well as two blinking LEDs are illuminated. Based on this information, it was most likely an SD card issue. On Stern's Spike 2 system, the SD card with the software and game code is located in the upper right corner of the board at CN13. Go ahead and turn off the pinball machine at this time. With the pinball machine off, gently push down on the SD card until it pops back up and then remove it from the board. Stern has instructions on their website regarding how to flash an SD card. If you are burning a replacement SD card, they recommend using one that is the same size and same class as the SD card you removed from the pinball machine. This is the card I removed from Elvira, and you can see it is a 16 gigabyte card and a class 10. Class 10 refers to the speed of the card. In order to flash or burn an SD card, you will need an SD card reader. Most computers have a card reader built in. If not, you will need to purchase a USB card reader similar to the one I have here. Now insert the replacement SD card in the card reader. Before we get started, you want to make sure the SD card is empty and formatted properly. Open a window that shows the location of the SD card. Click on the SD card in the window and check to see if the card has any data on it. If there is any important data on the SD card, save it to your computer. We will be formatting the SD card which will erase all the data on the card. Now highlight the SD card again, right click it and scroll down and select properties. A window will pop up which will indicate how much used and free space is on the card. If you have a 16 gigabyte SD card installed, the total space should be just under 16 gigabytes. If your card is showing the proper amount of space, right click the card again, select format from the window, Make sure the file system is listed as FAT and the capacity is listed as 16 gigabytes. If everything looks good, click start to begin formatting the SD card. My SD card would not show the full capacity of the card, only half. If your SD card is only showing half of the storage size, you will need to take some additional steps to fix this issue or your software transfer will fail. If your SD card shows the proper size, you can skip this next step. Below is a link to a website that will show you how to reformat your SD card so it shows full capacity. I will also place this link in the description of the video. When you open up this link, you will see that there are several different methods to restore the SD card to full capacity. I prefer the manual method to restore the SD card to full capacity using the command prompt menu. Just make sure that you are formatting the SD card and not your computer's hard drive. With the SD card properly formatted, it's time to head over to sternpinball.com. In the upper right portion of the screen, mouse over the word support and from the drop down menu, select SD card images. Now scroll down the list and find your game. The SD card images contain the spike software along with the most recent version of the game code. Select your game and be sure to choose the proper model, Pro, Premium, or LE. After clicking on your game, save the file to your computer. These files are large and can take 15 to 20 minutes to download. Once the download is complete, open the file location, 
Right-click on the downloaded file and select Extract. This will unzip the folder you just downloaded. Depending on the size of the file, it may take up to a minute in order to extract all the files out of the zipped folder. Here's what it should look like once the file has been extracted. Now head back over to sternpinball.com, mouse over support, select SD card image, then scroll down to learn how to create complete SD card. When the document opens, scroll down to the second bullet point titled Etcher Software and click the link to go to their website. From the home screen, select your computer's operating system and click Save. After the software is finished downloading, select Run. This is not a huge download and should only take a few seconds. Once the Etcher software is installed, it will automatically launch the Etcher program. To flash the software to the SD card, select Flash from File and navigate to the file you extracted a few steps ago and then click Open. Next, mouse over the storage location and confirm it is listed as your SD card or your SD card reader. This software will typically pop up with your SD card already selected, but double check to make sure. If everything looks good, select Flash. Flashing the SD card will take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once the SD card has been flashed, the program will take another 5 to 10 minutes to verify the SD card was flashed properly. If everything goes well, you will get a message that says Flash Complete, Successful Device. The software and game code should now be on the SD card. Now remove the SD card from your computer and head back over to your pinball machine. With the pinball machine turned off, reinstall the SD card in slot CN13 and push it down until it clicks in place. At this time, raise the speaker panel back up and lock it in place so you can see the screen. Then turn the pinball machine back on and watch the boot up process on the screen as well as the indicator LEDs on the board. The Stern Pinball logo should show up on the screen and you will see the indicator lights flashing on the board. Eventually, the LED lights in the back box will turn on as well. If everything boots up properly, unlock and lower the speaker panel. Now reinstall the back glass, raise the speaker panel, and then lock it in place. Now open the coin door, place the back box keys back on the metal hook, and close the coin door. Be sure to play a few test games to make sure everything is working properly. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.